In this video, we're gonna be chopping up two different samples using two different techniques. Without wasting any time, let's just get right into it. So the first way we're going to be cutting this sample up is by chopping it on the kick and the snare. Let's get into it. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna see what we can do with chopping this sample based off more of like a rhythmic type of chop style. So with a sample like this, you don't wanna just chop every kick and every snare right after each other or else it's just gonna be quick little stabs and you might not be able to make something cool with that. So now what we can do is hit shift, convert. Let's go to create new samples so we can put it on the pads separately with these slices here that we got. Let's go to main. And I already have a drum beat that I made. I'll show you that in a minute. We're gonna be using one of these samples that I chop up to make a full beat with the drum loop that I already made. So when you do it like this, you kind of already have the original arrangement of the song that you're sampling. And it sounds more like a loop rather than a chopped melody that you created yourself. I'm gonna show you. I mean, of course you can do something pretty cool with these chops, but lately I've been chopping a little bit different and using another technique, which we're gonna go into right now. So for this next technique, we're gonna be focusing our sample chops on the melody. So like the chords, the progression, some of the notes here and there, and just mostly the instrument hits themselves. So let's get right into it. <laughs> So that's a pretty cool sample. So now we're gonna go to this trim button again. So what I wanna do here is just hit region and then I'm going to manually go in there and slice different samples based off of the melodics. I'm gonna show you right now. That one I am going to chop the rhythm, just this little slice right here because that does sound pretty cool. So now we're going to convert this over to its own program. See, and then ones like this, you can even slow it down so we can slow it back down. And I'm also going to turn the volume down on these. And we're gonna be going with the first sample that I chopped up just because it has a little bit better of a progression. Even when you're sampling, you wanna have an idea of like where you're going to go with it as far as making the full beat, other sounds you can maybe add to it, and you know, the beat itself, like the drum loop and things like that. But at the same time, you don't wanna be overthinking anything either. That just ruins the creative process. You wanna keep it simple, yet giving yourself enough room to build off of what you make. Cause when you add other elements to it, you might just make a really simple sample chop sound crazy at the end of a complete beat. Let's get into this, let's make this beat. So we're gonna be switching from this sample to the first one that we chopped up. Okay, I think I'm going to use maybe like a combination of these chops. I'm gonna pitch them. Maybe, maybe pitch it up just a little bit. Now we're gonna add this 808 that I had on the drum program that I made already.
I hope you liked this video. I hope you learned something or at least took something away from it. Maybe it even sparked an idea for your next beat. I hope so. If you did like this video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out and it helps me reach people who this might really help out as well. Thank you again for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.